Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another Cricut video. So today we are doing a quick and easy project. Even if you've never used a Cricut before, I promise you can do this project. I will show you how every step of the way. It is so simple. All you need is your Cricut maker, some infusible ink, a transfer sheet preferably, aluminum, because we're going to be putting our infusible ink onto an aluminum sheet has to be Cricut brand aluminum so that it will mesh and an easy press too. That's really all you need and it's so easy. So I used mine to make an adorable little aluminum sign for my ocean themed resin window. Look how pretty it turned out. I'm obsessed. And here's the aluminum. I cannot wait to show you guys how to make this. It's technically a chalkboard and ocean. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. We're gonna make the aluminum today and I will show you how to make all these pretty resin waves in another video. But for now, let's get started on making the absolutely adorable ocean theme sign. It says the ocean is everything I want to be. Beautimus, beautimus, beautiful mysterious wild and free and if you can't read like i can't that's okay you got it memorialized forever <sighs> let's get started y'all all right y'all voiceover betsy here and we are going to jump into this tutorial so to start let's go ahead and open our infusible ink transfer sheets these come in a black bag to protect them from the sun and they are ink so treat them with dry clean hands we're going to use the light green teal color and the blue. So we're just going to cut them with our little cutting device here, our paper cutter. This one, the light green, we are going to cut until it is eight by seven. So that's eight inches long by seven inches tall. And that's going to be the majority of our words. The blue piece, we are going to cut to be seven by six and I'll show you that in a second. The pieces do like to curl up quite a bit, so just keep them as straight as you can and be careful because if you get the ink wet at all or you scratch it at all, it's ink, y'all, like it'll come up. It's not hard, just be careful. So the darker blue, as I said, we're gonna cut to the seven by six. So the hardest part is just keeping it from not curling. <laughs> it's okay though. You can do it. I have faith in you. At least if I can do it on camera, I bet you can do it off camera. All right, go ahead and put those on a strong grip mat, and then we will put them in our Cricut machine. You can also use one mat and then take it off and put your other piece on. I like to do two so that I just can feed them both into the machine. Now go ahead and open your design space software on your laptop and we're going to upload a new design. So if you've never done that before, it's easy. Just select your PNG from your laptop, select complex, perfect. Now cut image, save it to your library. It's two images since we're cutting our words out of two different colors, but they are formatted so that they'll fit together perfectly. And you can use any image. This is the one that I've designed and you can get it for free over on my website. I'll probably put a link down below on YouTube as well. So now go ahead, select everything so it moves together and resize the entire image until it's seven inches across. That's the perfect size so that there's an inch of clearance on either side of the design for our nine inch aluminum sized piece. Now recolor your images so that the script words are blue and the block words are green. And we're gonna actually go ahead and cut these out. Looks like I decided to leave them at almost nine inches long. There we go, seven inches, thought so. Now we're gonna click make it. 
it's going to have two different mats so since this is infusible ink you'll want to mirror each design that's going to flip your words backwards so that they'll be properly oriented on your design if you have multiple crickets because i have a couple <laughs> select your maker and then we are going to go ahead and click infusible ink transfer sheet so that it cuts it the perfect pressure. From here, we're going to keep going. It does tell you right there, make sure mirror is turned on and material is ink side up. So if you're not used to infusible ink, it tells you all the things right there. It's pretty easy. So as you can see, mat what? Mat what? Mat one is that light green color and we are going to use the light green infusible ink transfer sheet for our first cut and then we'll do the blue darker blue infusible ink transfer sheet for the second mat all right go ahead and open your Cricut make sure that that fine blade is inserted if you've used a lot of blades you might want to double check but that is the standard blade for most crickets. So fine blade inserted. Now we're going to go ahead and insert that first piece. This is the lighter green. Feed it in and then hit go. It only takes a minute or two to cut. It's actually pretty fast. But the best part is just watching it cut. I don't know why. No matter how many cricket projects I do, this always makes me happy. All right, now that it's getting to about 100%, it will start to unload. You'll hit the unload button and it will spit the entire mat out. Look at those cuts. Oh my gosh. Okay, slow-mo. Beautiful, darling. I'm so excited. I cannot wait until this is finished. Now we are going to go ahead and insert the blue infusible ink sheet and that is going to be our large script letters. Just go ahead and hit the feed button. It'll pull it in. And then once the machine's ready, hit that blinking Cricut button and it will automatically cut the second map. This one is just two words. They are loopier for a script, but they're still gonna cut pretty fast. Much faster than the first sheet with all those little letters. Watch it work. It's much better at cutting out letters than I am. Trust me. I have done many projects by hand before I got my Cricut. This thing is a lifesaver on your fingers. All right, y'all, we are over halfway done with our project now. Go ahead and unfeed that mat. Time for another slow-mo. Oh, look how pretty. I mean, come on. You can't say that wasn't worth it. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, we're going to go ahead and put our Cricut machine away. Go ahead and hit finish on design space. And then you can turn off your Cricut, fold it up, and put it out of sight, out of mind. Well, it's never really out of mind, but you know what I mean. We're just going to kind of scooch it back a little. 
Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on the next step, which is weeding. So if you've never weeded a project, it's pretty simple. It basically means that you're going to remove all the little extra pieces of material. First, go ahead and start your easy press just so it can warm up. It takes a while. You need to get to 385 for 40 seconds, I believe, for infusible ink, and that's going to take a while to heat up. So go ahead and set it while you're reading so that it has time and you don't have to sit and wait. To remove your pieces from the mat without them curling, turn them upside down and then peel the mat away from your infusible ink. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and get started. On the next one. Same thing, turn it over. If you're working on a surface that's messy, just make sure you don't mess up that ink. Don't accidentally put it down in water or condensation or anything. Beautiful. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, so normally for weeding, you'll use a weeding tool, but for infusible ink transfer sheets, you just want to find the corner and start peeling that bad boy up. It's actually a pretty thick consistency, kind of like cardstock. I mean, you can see it comes off with my fingers really easily. You shouldn't have any problems. You can tear off excess as you go so that it doesn't get restuck or get caught or get pain in the butt. But basically, it's pretty much the easiest thing you'll ever weed. Pay special attention to all the little pieces like the tip of the eye or the t edge of the T. See, so look at that little eye. That can come up with your excess and fusible ink really easily. So you just want to pay attention that they don't come up and that they stay stuck to that sticky transfer sheet. Perfect. Look how fast that was. I mean, it sped up, but y'all, that was fast. Really fast. Okay, ready for take two? Beautiful, darling. All right, go ahead and make sure you have a safe place to put that down so that it doesn't get stuck to something. And we're going to go ahead Move our easy press now that it's getting hot. We don't want to heat up that fake fur. And we're going to peel the excess off of this sheet. These images, images, letters are really tiny on this particular design. So just make sure you're holding them with one hand while you peel with the other hand. Cut off the excess and keep going. If some of the letters start to come up like that B and that L did right there, just slowly push them down with your fingers until they're back on the transfer sheet. Last bit up top, perfect. And the last corner, amazing. All right, so now off camera, I'm going to go ahead and take out all the inside pieces. The inside of the B, the O, the A, anything that's inside the letters that we don't want to be there when we ink it. Then we're going to go ahead and put the two pieces together. So infusible ink can only be put down with one transfer sheet. Unlike iron-on or HTV, you don't want to heat it up and then put another layer on and heat that up. It all needs to go down at once. So my trick is to actually cut the top transfer sheet and then lay it on top of the bottom transfer sheet so that I don't have to individually peel up each letter and place it down. So I'm just kind of getting an idea of what I need to cut. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut around the entire word and then I'm going to put it in place and carefully stick it down onto the bottom transfer sheet. You do want to make sure that it's in the right spot. Use the lines on the guided transfer sheet there to make sure everything's in line. Perfect. 
If you don't get it quite in line, you can peel it back up and replace it, but you don't want to do that too often. So just be careful to try and put it in line the first time. And since the transfer sheet for Mysterious and the transfer sheet for Beautiful have lines, it's pretty easy to line up. Slow and steady wins the race. I am definitely the turtle and not the hare, y'all. And most things in life, not just cricketing. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and get our aluminum. You'll notice it has two sides. We want to peel the plastic off of our silver side, and that's the side our infusible ink will work on. It will not work on the gold side. The gold side is just another piece of plastic. You should take the gold plastic off now. Just make sure to keep track of which side the infusible ink side is. You can go ahead and put your infusible ink on the silver side, then flip it over and take the gold off. Line it up, make sure it's in the middle, and then you'll press it down firmly from the center out so that everything is stuck down properly and you don't have any bubbles. Perfect. Now, nine times out of 10, that transfer sheet is enough to keep the infusible ink sheet in place. But with infusible ink, if it moves even a little bit during the heat up process, your colors are gonna shift and they're not gonna come out crisp and clean. So use a little heat transfer tape there this is the Cricut brand and you're just going to make sure that all four sides are firmly pressed down and that transfer sheet with the infusible ink cutout letters isn't going anywhere. This might be overkill, but y'all, I don't care. I want it to be perfect. All right, now it's time. Go ahead and carefully pick it up. You're going to place it straight down and then push the Cricut button to start the timer. Don't touch it. Don't press down. Just let it go. Obviously, this is sped up. It'll take 40 seconds. And then you'll lift the heat press straight up and put it back on its plate. Turn it off to cool it down. Now, that aluminum is hot, y'all. Walk away. Get a donut. Come back. Leave it for at least five or six minutes. Ten if you can handle it. Because that aluminum will burn your fingers and then you're going to do a cool peel. You want it to be cool, and then you'll peel that transfer sheet straight up. I did not wait nearly long enough. I should have had two donuts. There we go. Look how vibrant that is. The infusible ink sheets are always dull, and then once you heat them up, they become beautiful and vibrant. So, I mean, you'll notice the colors here are nothing like the infusible ink sheets we were cutting out. It always is a beautiful transformation. It gets me every time. Take all those little extra pieces off. Somehow my tape got stuck at the top. I'm going to peel that off. And then we're done. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and do the exit, and then I'll show you some close-up shots, okay? Don't worry, you'll get to see exactly what I do with this. All right, what did I tell you? Was this not the easiest sign you've ever made? Five minutes or less, technically waiting for the easy press to heat up is probably the longest part. And now you've got an adorable sign. I hope you loved it. If you wanna see how I made the rest of the pieces, the actual window, how to make resin waves, and even the little seashell on the corner. Stay tuned, I'll be showing you how to do all of those in a later video over on my resin part of this channel. Bye y'all.